Hi, welcome to Improved Garage YouTube channel. If you haven't subscribed, I would really appreciate it if you could. Uh, so today I'm going to be talking about my Krenzla pressure washer. Um, so it's, it's right over here. This is my Krenzla K1322 TS. Um, it came from Obsessed Garage. It's on an Obsessed Garage um, stainless steel shelf, an 18 by 8 shelf. Um, next to that you can see a Cox hose reel. Um, as well as uh, it's an MTM SGS 28 gun. I also have a Mossmatic gun, um, and you know there's my deionizer and water system. Um, specifically today, I want to talk about my Krenzla. Um, I've had it for a year, and the machine has just been fantastic. Um, so I wanted to talk through my experience. I get more questions about my Krenzla than I do about anything else that I've talked about on the channel. Um, so you know, I just I, I thought that it was. Uh, a good idea to do a video on it. So, uh, like I mentioned, this is a K1322 TST. Um, so that is a, a special unit that's only sold by Obsessed Garage. Um, it is a uh, about two gallons per minute, uh, a little under two gallons per minute, and it, it runs at about 1100 PSI with a, uh, a 4.0 size orifice, like what I have installed in here. Um, uh, just an operation. <laughs> It kicks on almost immediately. It shuts off as soon as you let go of the trigger. It's very quiet, um, so you know I, I have it here in my garage. It's mounted on this wall. The other side of this wall is actually my dining room. Um, it's it's quiet enough that it doesn't really create a lot of havoc inside the house. Um, it's not so loud that I can't stand to be in the garage with it. Uh, it runs really well. It's it's maybe a little bit louder than my ultra quiet pressure washer or my ultra quiet um, air compressor which runs at like 57 or 58 dB. So I guess this is probably in like the mid 60s. Um, I bought it with the Obsessed Garage shelf and the retainers. So these are the Obsessed Garage retainers that come with it. Um, and this is the, uh, the three foot, um, it's an MTM whip hose and you know, the, of course the Cox reel that I mentioned already. Um, one thing that a couple people have asked me about is, uh, is this. So, this is an oil vent cap that um, Krenzla has started making for the pressure washers. And um, I guess what they were seeing was that if you ran it for long periods of time straight, um, it would, the pressure would build up inside the pump head and it would let out a little bit of oil. So I've never experienced that, but this is the part that they made to fix that problem. And I thought, I'll just get one and put it in there. So as you heard there, when I unscrewed my cap, there's a little bit of pressure that came out. Um, so this is the old cap, this is the new cap. Now, this isn't something that they're giving away for free, um, although it is a fix to a problem. I'm sure if you you know, created a, a, a stir about it, they would probably help you out. But honestly, like, I, I didn't need that. Um, you know, I, uh, I went on their website, I ordered it, it was 15 bucks. I paid 15 bucks shipping, so it was like 30 bucks shipped, and it's here. Now, um, I've had absolutely zero issues with the Krenzla. It kicks on, it kicks off, it does its thing, I don't run any problems, everything works great. I've been incredibly happy with it. Um, I think it's a fantastic unit, I really do. Um, and I, I've, you know, it's my fifth pressure washer. I had a I had a Troy built that was Honda powered. I had a different model that was Honda powered. I can't remember what that was. Um, it might have just been a Honda brand pressure washer. Um, and I had a, uh, a Portland. I had a, a one of the higher end Greenworks, higher end Greenworks, like a $300 Greenworks. Um, and then I went to this Krenzla and it has been by far the best of all of them. Um, I have had it for a year. I wash three cars a week um, on average. There were some times where I've had four or five cars, um, but usually I try to wash all three cars every single week. Uh, we have always owned three cars, um, and it's been really good for that. It does a it does a great job. It doesn't use a ton of water. Um, I can wash a car from start to finish, and it takes me about 20 gallons of water. And the reason that I know that is because I, I store deionized water in these tanks, um, and I can only store about 45 gallons of water, and um, I can do like a little over two cars before I run out of water. So the, um, you know, the Krenzel is nice and efficient. It does a great job. Um, I did have a problem when I received it. So when I, when I received it, this, uh, this black box right here was broken out of the box. 
just because it's a 60 pound metal thing and it was inside the box and this got busted in, in transit. Um, and uh, Krenzel sent me a brand new one. Um, I, I had a new one in like two days, a uh, whole new, so this is the switch that actually stops it when it reaches the pressure. Um, so I had a new one that came in about two days, um, but honestly, that's the broken one. I put a little bit of super glue on it, I put it back together, it hasn't given me any problems, it's been fantastic. Uh, one thing that I never did do was shorten the cord, which I will do, I'll, I'll post a video on that and uh, I'll, I'll do a cord shortening, it's really easy to do, um, just to kind of clean all of this up a little bit. But in a year with the Krenzla, it's been fantastic. I would totally, if this thing died tomorrow, I would rebuild it um, because they have parts available for it, which is different than other pressure washers. But if it died tomorrow and they didn't have parts available for it, I think I would still buy another one. It's that good. It's just so quiet, so powerful, so instantaneous to deliver pressure and release pressure. And it, it's just a fantastic machine. Um, I really think that it is a step above everything that I've ever owned before it. So if you're on the fence about it, it's a great machine. I'll put a link in the description to Obsess Garage who carries this particular model, the 1322. I think if you're looking to buy a Krenzla, this is the one to buy. The 1622 um, is very, very similar, but it produces less output. Um, this is the, the obviously the 1322 and they also make an 1122 which is a portable unit. The 1122 is a great fit as well um, So if you needed a portable unit that would be you know the answer But I think that this in the installed solution is much cleaner much better um, So I like the 1322 myself. It's my favorite unit um, and uh, Yeah, and and I will say that I ran it off a of 15 amp circuit for a while without any problems whatsoever um, I did run into a, an occasional problem where like um, my vacuum would, I'd run my vacuum when the pressure washer kicked on or my air compressor would kick on at the same time as my pressure washer and it would snap my breaker. Um, so I did run a 20 amp dedicated outlet for it. So now it's on its own dedicated 20 amp and I don't really have to worry about that anymore. Um, but it can run on a 15 amp as well. You just have to be careful if you're running it for long periods, you're probably going to pop that breaker. Um, so that's it. Thank you for watching. I hope that you'll subscribe. Honestly, if you're on the fence about this thing, it is fantastic. I know that nobody has them in stock right now. I know Obsessed Garage doesn't have them in stock right now and nobody else really carries them, but they haven't been in stock since November, but they're constantly getting them in and shipping them out. So my recommendation would be order one, put yourself on the list. It's going to take a little while, but you're gonna get your unit and it's gonna be awesome. You're gonna love it when you do. So thank you and uh, have a great day.